Hi, my name is Bort Peterlin. I'm a fine art photographer dealing with the 19th century anti antiquarian uh, photographic techniques. For the image I've done, uh, I was inspired by, the, by this book, Looking at Photographs by Zarkovsky. Inside, he's quoting Paul Strand. If one were to use photography honestly, he must have a real respect for the thing in front of him. And then Sarkovsky is, um, is uh, explaining that implies that the subject is not merely the occasion, but the reason for the picture. That's a really, really important lesson. That, you know, the object that you're photographing is the reason that to why you're taking the image. You know, that's not the case, I must admit, that's not the case. Uh, many, of, many of us uh, wet plate photographers, we love this technique so much that we are photographing whatever just because it looks so cool on this image and uh, and I'm no exceptions I mean you know I'm no exception at all you know I do that many times but not this time this time I decided I want to photograph something that is uh, ugly and something that is very very daily very very trivial I want to take the most ugly object that I can and I want to make the most beautiful image I can produce starting with my running shoes these shoes uh, are very old I run with them like many hundred kilometers and you know I bought I bought new shoes and before I, I will throw this away uh, I want to I want to make the most beautiful image for this image I'm using wet plate collodion negative and carbon print these are techniques invented in 1851 and 1855 and what is really astonishing uh, thing is that you know this is they are the most that wet plate collodion negative is the best way to record light, considering the tonality and resolution. I mean, digital can you know just go away because you know pixels cannot match uh, atoms of silver on the plate, right? Um, on top of that, carbon print is the best possible way how to print your image. I mean, the best possible way concerning tonality, resolution and also the archival quality. I mean, I was watching the prints from 1875 done by Woodbury himself and in George Eastman house and you know, prints were the best. They were, they didn't, they, they were not even faded a, a bit. Only the paper got a little bit yellow, but you know, that's it. So, that's why I'm using these wonderful techniques. Wet plate collodion negative and carbon print I learned from Mark, Mark Osterman. Uh, that's in George Eastman house. This is a wonderful museum. If, you wanna, if you're interested in that, that stuff, go there. Now, the print that I've created, the carbon print that I've created, this is this is the most archival technique ever. Potentially, this print will last for many hundreds of years. So, and you can you don't have to be Zarkovsky or Einstein that you will see this irony of me photographing a basically a garbage uh, and making it so you know it will remain for many hundreds of years. So, so that's really really important. Like now. And you know, I'm, I want to make a statement about our consumer society, where the image is more important than reality. Uh, you know, just think about Hollywood, just think about uh, rock bands, just think about you know, uh, pop culture that we are living. Just think about advertising. You know, just, just, just let me not continue, please. So, and um, you know, so, so this, my plan is to this object, this picture, this carbon print to put on eBay. Why, why on eBay? Because I want to start an auction. I want that this eBay, this auctioning, this you know, whole thing will be a part of the, of the, of the artwork, of the art project. Because you know, I want to deliver this consumer society, I want to make a statement about the consumer society in the best possible way, you know, that you know, consumers will be involved in this project, so, which means you know, the bidding. So let's see what the price will, will achieve this print. Uh, so that, that's part of the experiment, really important part of this experiment. For those of you who don't know what carbon print is, just imagine how beautiful images uh, Ansel Adams was doing, right? And his mastery of printing. Well, carbon print is a notch higher. 
imagine that Ansel Adams would be dropped like Lance Armstrong. Imagine what kind of prints he would be he would be doing. One more thing, these shoes I was planning to throw away um, because you know they are really you know worn out. But I received an uh, invitation that I would uh, donate my shoes to a certain museum in Belgium. This museum, Google that, shoes or no shoes, this museum is collecting shoes by artists. So, you know, I will donate this, uh, the shoes and plus one print, so, you know, the whole story will be, will be explained. So, thanks for watching and have fun bidding.